Order of operations, PEMDAS, three or more steps with exponents. What are they? The rules that say which calculation comes first in an expression. Why? So there's a set standard of rules. Interesting fact. Anacondas are large, non-venomous snakes found in South America that can reach over 5 meters or 16 feet. Now, let's take a look at what PEMDAS stands for. P is for parentheses, E is for exponents, M is for multiply, D is for divide, A is for add, S is for subtract. Now, let's take a look at the examples we'll be discussing in today's video. And before we do that, let's take a look at the image on the left-hand side and discuss why multiply and divide are on the same row, as well as add and subtract. Since multiply and divide are inverses, as well as add and subtract, they are on the same row, which means they have the same magnitude, so we read them left to right when we only have multiply and divide left, or when we only have add and subtract. Now let's take a look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, parentheses. Step two, exponents. Step three, multiply or divide. Step four, add or subtract. Let's read the question. Evaluate the expression 40 minus the parentheses of three squared times four. We said parentheses, let's go ahead and highlight that. And now we have to decide between square or multiplication. Since square is a type of exponent, we need to do that one first, and three squared is nine. So now we have 40 minus the parentheses of nine times four. We still said parentheses, so let's go ahead and do what's inside that first, and nine times four is 36. So now we have 40 minus 36, and the result of that is four. And that is our answer for example one. And now let's move on to example two. Let's read the question. Evaluate the expression 20 divided by the parentheses of three squared plus one. We said parentheses, so let's go ahead and highlight that. So now we have to decide between the square and the addition. Since square is a type of exponent, we're gonna go ahead and do that first. And three squared is nine. Now we have 20 divided by the parentheses of nine plus one. We still said parentheses, so let's go ahead and do the operation inside that first. And nine plus one is 10. And now we have 20 divided by 10. And the result of that is two. And that is our answer for example two. And now let's move on to example three. Let's read the question. Evaluate the expression 18 divided by three squared minus the parentheses of three plus four squared. Since we said parentheses, let's go ahead and highlight that. Since that's the first one we have to worry about. And since there's only one operation inside, let's go ahead and do that. Three plus four is seven. So now we have 18 divided by three squared minus seven squared. Now we have to decide which ones do we need to do first, division, subtraction, or the squared. Since square is a type of exponent, let's go ahead and highlight that. Now, which one do we do first? Well, since the squares are on two different numbers and they're not affecting each other, it doesn't really matter which one you do it. You can do it at the same time or on different steps, but we're gonna go ahead and read it left to right, and three squared is nine. And now we have 18 divided by nine minus seven squared, and seven squared is 49. So now we have 18 divided by nine minus 49. So now we have to decide whether to do division or subtraction first. And since division is before subtraction in the order of operations, let's go ahead and divide 18 by nine. And the result of that is two. So now we have two minus 49 and the result of that is negative 47. And that is our answer for example three. Now let's move on to example four. Let's read the question. Evaluate the expression 100 minus two times the parentheses of three squared minus four. We said parentheses, let's go ahead and highlight that. Now we have to decide between square and subtraction. Since square is a type of exponent, let's go ahead and do that first. And three squared is nine. Now we have 100 minus two times the parentheses of nine minus four. We still said parentheses, so let's go ahead and do the operation inside. And nine minus four is five. And now we have 100 minus two times the parentheses of five. Let's go ahead and add the multiplication symbol in between the two and the five. So now we have to decide which operation to do first, subtraction or multiplication. Since multiplication is before subtraction in the order of operations, let's go ahead and multiply the two and the five 
and the result of that is 10. And now we have 100 minus 10, and the result of that is 90. And that is the answer for example 4. Let's go ahead and take a look at example 5. Let's read the question. Evaluate the expression 3 plus 4 in parentheses squared minus the parentheses of 4 times 2. We said parentheses. Let's go ahead and highlight both of them. Now we have to decide which one to do first. Since neither of the parentheses are inside of each other, they don't affect each other. So we can go ahead and do both at the same time. But we're going to go ahead and read it left to right. So we're going to do the 3 plus 4 first. And 3 plus 4 gives us 7. So now we have 7 squared minus 4 times 2 in parentheses. We still said parentheses. So let's go ahead and highlight that. And do the operation inside first. And 4 times 2 is 8. So now we have 7 squared minus 8. And we have to choose between the square and the subtraction. Since square is a type of exponent, let's go ahead and do that first. And 7 squared is 49. Now we have 49 minus 8. And the result of that is 41. And that is our answer for example 5. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video. So you can take your time to answer these questions. And I will show you the results in 3, 2, and 1. If you got them correct, well done. If not, there is always tomorrow.